Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Asha Jundali and this is our third episode into Lightroom and Photoshop tips. What we're going to be talking about today is two simple things and very useful at the same time. First one is to how to sharpen your image in a smart way and very easy way. And the second one is how to remove noise from your image without even taking out some details from the image. So in Photoshop, I have this image and I've done the initial, you know, um, setup of the image where I'm, you know, having the contrast, the highlights, all that kind of stuff. It's all done. And now what I want is to sharpen the image. I will have a close look at my image where I did press the command one or the control one and this will zoom 100% on my image. And by pressing the space, I will be able to go through my image and see the quality of that image. I can clearly see that there are some noise. You can see the grains in the image. I hope you will be able to see it, especially if you are on high definition video. So the first thing, I just want to remove the noise from the image. So the best thing is to do is go to the channels. And inside channels, I will be able to see all the colors, the RGB, the red, green, and blue. And I can go one by one. I can just click on the red, the green, and blue. Okay, so if I click on the red, all I have to do is I can go to filters and then blur and then surface blur. Now, the way I do it is that I go very small numbers and I can see what does this number affect my image. Now look at that small amount. I have a radius of two and the threshold of four. I just look at preview. I'll remove the preview so I can see what was before. Look at before, it's grainy. And now after using that surface blur, now there are no more grains. So that's mean I don't have to go more, you know, in, in, the, in the increasing the threshold or the radius. Now normally the radius, I don't prefer exceeding more than 10. That's maximum number in my, you know, the way I tried it, I found that 10 is maximum, which we can use. And threshold, again, the same thing. If you go too much, then um, the, the PC will be extremely slow. And again, you will lose some really, a lot of details from your image, which we don't want to. So right now, I will, I'm satisfied with number four. I can see now the grains are no more there. And I will click OK. Now, it did apply that filter. And then I will click on green. I can see now in the green, still there are some different grains and different noise. I click again on filter. I can use the same numbers which I previously used. So I can either click Command F or Control F, which will do the same amount which I've done previously. Or again, I can go to other and then, oh sorry, I can go again to blur and then surface blur. And then I can use and see the same amount. Is it fine? I will use yes. It's fine for me. I will use the same amount and I say OK. And finally, I go to the blue. I can see, yes, again, there are some grains. I say filter. Let's try to use the same, same old setting. Definitely, that's fine. So I can see right now that my noise is, is, is no more in the image. I will click on the RGB so I can see the, 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 the image in colors. Now I'll show you the before and after. What was it before? Look, this is with noise and this is without noise. Okay. And coming now on how to sharpen my image. Normally, I will be adding another copy of the image. So I can add another layer with that image itself. So I can press Command or Control J. This will give me another layer with the picture, the same image in it. And now all I have to do is go to filter and then other and then high pass filter. Now the image will start to look like gray kind of way. And you can see it brings out the edges of the image. Now try to start low. Now I'll give you a small tip. If you are into showing your picture on the screen, I encourage you not to go more than 1.5 in the radius. Okay, so you can see now in this image, 
once I go a little bit, little bit up, you can see the edges are being like more stronger. If I'm going to print my image, I can go for two and above if I'm going to print my image. But now, in my way, I'm going to show it on the screen. So I'm going to go for something like uh, 1.0. That should be fine for me. And I will say, OK. Now, nothing happened. I do understand. All you have to do right now is go to your blending mode. Now, the blending modes which you can try, you can try the overlay, which has you know a small effect on the image. It can go all the way to the linear light. So if we try linear light, now look at the before and after. Before, after. Now that's having really very high sharpening. I can always, you know, reduce the opacity, let's say like uh, to 70%, depending on how much I, the, the image I require it to be sharpened. Again, I'll say before and after. Still, I can have good sharpening even though I decrease it to 70%. I'll increase it again to 100. Also, instead of using linear light, I can also start with overlay. Overlay will have a smaller effect than linear light. So again, I'll say before, after you can see the changes are a little, little, little bit uh, compared with the uh, linear light. You can also uh, use the soft light, will have a little bit more than the overlay and so on. I prefer to start with linear light. You can see it's very, you know, strong sharpening and then I can reduce it. I prefer reducing it to somewhere like between 50 and 60 percent. That will give me a good amount of sharpening and it will look realistic, not like extremely sharpened, which I don't find it good to have it on the screen, but it's perfect on the prints. So I'll, 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 I'll zoom out by pressing Command-0 or uh, Control-0. Now I can see my image totally sharpened. And the good thing about Photoshop is that you can have a um, uh, mask and I can mask exactly the place where I want the sharpening to be. Let's say, for example, in such kind of image, I don't want to sharpen the sky because in some cases it will add some grain in it, which again, we remove the noise not to add another noise. So uh, all I can do is I will, while I'm on the layer which I did the sharpen on it, I will be pressing the Alt or Option and then the uh, add layer mask once i click on that i will be getting a black uh, uh, mask which that means it doesn't affect anything see i'm trying to put it on and off i don't have any effect right now all i have to do is i will choose brush by pressing b or i can choose the brush from here and i will be uh, making sure that my uh, foreground is white uh, and by painting with white on my layer, sorry, on, on my mask, I will be getting my uh, sharpening. Sharpening on the areas that I want and that, that I'm gonna choose. So in that way, I will be choosing my buildings, like so. And I will make sure that my sharpening is not affecting the sky and it is just affecting the buildings. So let me zoom in so you can see exactly what's really happening. I'm zooming in right now and I will be applying the sharpening on the building and not the sky. Let's say also I'll do it on this building as well. And like so, okay. I'm just roughly doing it, but of course uh, once you do it, you have to be sure that you are doing on the buildings. Okay, and last but not least, just do the top of that building and we are done. Now look at the before and after, before, after, before, after. Let me increase it so you can see exactly what is the effect. Before, after, especially in this area, look at that. Before, after. And that's a tip for today. Thank you for viewing my video. I hope you subscribe to my uh, channel and also you can subscribe to my Facebook and you can see all my work and new work which I can uh, you know post in Facebook thank you for watching